Good morning. Um, honestly, Jacqueline pictures look pretty decent today. Um, welcome back to another video. We are 11 weeks out. Let that one freaking sit in. Um, not feeling my absolute best today. I'm pretty sick from traveling. Um, but we're just trying to try to see how we feel after the next couple hours. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of a morning routine. I also found that well, first, because my morning routine is what's keeping me sane right now. Um, and I posted my morning routine on my story, like, as a checklist. And a lot of people slid up and asked me to make a video on it. So I thought this would be fun. But um, <clears throat> I just feel like there's a lot of power in someone's morning routine and setting up their day for success. Um, even though, I'm not going to lie, it's 10 a.m. And we're doing my morning routine. I'm sick. Okay. Um, but no matter what time it is. Okay. Yeah, it's the weekend, so we put that out there too. Um, but no matter what time it is, weekend, during the week, and you're waking up at 5 every day to work, like, setting time aside in the morning to get ready, maybe you need 10 minutes, maybe you need 2 hours, like, and to mentally wake up does so much wonders. So I always give myself, like, an hour normally if it's on the weekend. <laughs> um, I usually give myself, like, an hour before I have to work to literally not even just get ready, like, to sit down and drink coffee and just chill. Because I do... Right now, I just don't wake up. I need, I need like 45 minutes of like sitting in my desk chair, like sipping coffee and watching a YouTube video or like cleaning up my room to be awake. So we did a little bit of a morning routine today. Um, I also found that I totally like disappear off of YouTube when it's hard. Um, and that always happens. Like last prep, I did have a couple videos where I was like talking about the rough parts of prep. Y'all really, really appreciated it. Um, it's hard to talk about the struggles you're going through, like, currently. You know, it's, just, it's always been really, really hard. Like, for me, for somebody to, like, post show, make a video and be like, oh, man, like, prep was hard. Like, reverse dieting was hard. Like, it's different than being like, yeah, I'm fucking struggling right now, you know? So, um, we're going to do a morning routine chit-chat today. Um, number one, on um, two days a week, I do check-ins. Um, so, I literally get up immediately first thing I always do is make my bed so I did already make my bed because I wasn't sure if I was gonna make a YouTube video um I love my little bed I think obviously it's not the prettiest I'm not like tucking in the corners but um I made my bed and I weighed myself now we're weighing pretty heavy my gut and my digestion has just been like super super bad the last couple days um <clears throat> not to get into details so we're a little heavy i definitely know that um but let me set our pictures to brandon before i make him wait for like a freaking hour while i'm talking to myself yeah basically i just made my bed and then um i weighed myself weighing 147.6 this morning um i think my lowest last week was 140 146.6 has been my lowest so far um, and then today we woke up 147.5. So we're pound heavier, um, which not a big issue. Your weight uh, fluctuates. So that's where we're sitting at this past couple days. That's like 147. Um, we do have a high day today. So I'm hoping usually like I'm carb cycling now, like two lower and one high. Um, and I found that whenever I have my high day, when I do those two low days back to back, I usually tend to drop some weight. So just because my body, like it's probably stress. But my body, like, tends to, like, relax a little. So, we'll chat a lot this video. But, um, we're gonna go down my let checklist because I'm a little anxious about the amount that I have to do today. Um, mainly, like, family things. So, I just want to get it all done and feel like I've showed up for myself. And then I could show up for other people. So, whoa, that was deep. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I always start with changing, to be honest. Um, because I hate usually sitting in my pajamas. But, obviously, I'm in a suit now um i put a car a fit on that i'm gonna do cardio in because i'm gonna do fasted cardio if i don't put my outfit on right now that i'm gonna do fasted cardio in i won't feel ready for another three hours to do fasted cardio and then i'm starving and i can't do fasted cardio it's just something i've learned in myself so um i always immediately i make my bed i weigh myself and then i change um and yeah i change into into a fasted cardio fit so let's go put some sweats on so we can sweat our asses off i got a new jug <laughs> so 
so this is a half gallon um so you fill this twice i'm drinking a gallon right now um and what i do next in the morning um is i have a lot of like gut vitamins i have to take which i take fasted so what we're gonna do we're gonna mix that all up you're in my cabinet right now um starting from now though i start pouring everything out of my gallon this is just so i can keep tabs and make sure i'm drinking enough um mainly like i'll use my gallon into my pre-workout i'll use my gallon to my vitamins this is just to make sure like i'm drinking drinking it all you know what i mean usually i can get through the first like half gallon in the first like hour of my day but it's just so i can remember so Something that we recently added is apple cider vinegar. This is not for weight loss, it's for gut stuff. Um, because I've had a lot of questions that people were like, why are you taking apple cider vinegar? I heard that was like disproven. It's not for, I'm not taking it for weight loss. The, I'm, I'm not. So anyways, um, I'm too lazy to pour it into a tablespoon. So I'm pouring it straight into my mouth. And honestly, it's so good. It tastes like kombucha, but with my throat being sore, it's burning my throat. Um, okay, so we're gonna mix up all the vitamins we have to take in the morning. Um, this is kind of the next thing on my list because I will forget if it's not like listed. So, glutamine, I do one scoop right now. Um, same thing, um, it's because of just some gut stuff right now. Um, I'm doing 10, I think it's milligrams. 10 milligrams. Next, I do this no matter what, a GI plus. I just recently added in the glutamine and the apple cider vinegar though. GI plus and then greens powder, I've had it this whole time. So good, the entirety of prep. The greens I do use though are these pills, oh, just because the powdered greens are a little bit higher calorie for my liking right now. Um, so. We get all this. We're gonna mix it all up. I put a little bit of a flavor packet in there. Because it has no flavor. It tastes like powdered. Oh. Oh no. One sec. Okay. It tastes like powdered creatine. So I just put like a little flavor packet or a little tiny squirt of meow in there. Okay. So we mix all this up. It tastes amazing. So good. Okay, now we're gonna mix up our greens. So only three capsules for this one. I do have some other vitamins I do take later, which I'll show you. Um, but this is just to like the ones I want before I start eating and during my day. And that's it for now. Thanks. Um, yeah, that's it for my vitamins. Okay, let's look at my phone. What's next? So we got our fantastic guardian. I actually do this. This is why people are confused. Like, I literally will forget what I'm supposed to be doing in the morning. Oh, coffee. See, <laughs> it's wild. It is wild. So we got my gallon. We took my vitamins, my vitamin one. We need to <laughs> wash my face and brush my teeth and drink coffee. See, I totally, I don't know why I would have forgotten that. But I would have, I would have forgotten that. So. Let's make our coffee. I also did want to say, because I actually don't, I think it'll be announced on my Instagram. I do have a code with Revive now. Um, I've actually been using the Revive products for quite a long time. Um, and my clients have been using my boyfriend's code, but now you get to use mine. <laughs> um, so, glutamine, creatine. What else do I use for them? You're, you're actually all my vitamins. But right now that I've shown you, glutamine, I use the greens, but I also have the greens powder that they sell. The chocolate's the best one, in my opinion. And GI Plus, all from Revive. It's called it's revivesups.com, I think. I'll put the website in the caption. Um, use code GDFIT to support me. Um, your vitamins and your health is super important. I literally have these all on like the set on subscription um, because I like where it like automatically comes to my house because I will forget to buy them. So. I'm excited to now tell y'all that I'm with Revive. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's very, very cool to have someone support my health and to have a coat with somebody with like vitamins and stuff. Um, and obviously like, I don't have to say much about Revive being like an insane brand. So I don't even have to like say anything. It's just, I'm with Revive now. They gave me a coat. I'm allowed to have a coat is the point of this. Um, thank you, Sebum, because I know you did it personally. Um, I'm joking, but 
Um, yeah. Cookie fit. And I'll show you the rest of my vitamins probably later that I'm going to revive because this is my morning routine anyways. Okay, coffee time. Okay, coffee is, look at the freaking lighting right here though. Coffee is one of my favorite parts of the day. I have my little Nespresso. We're doing a caramel pod today. Um, caramel, one of my least favorites, to be honest, but we have to get through it. We can't, we can't just never use it. Um, I would say gingerbread is my favorite, but I, I gotta be sparing because obviously that's a holiday flavor. Um, Sugar-free vanilla, I put some in there. Sometimes I'll put um, some stevia. Let me show you. I love how often I just leave frame. Um, I got these when I was in Germany. I don't know if they sell them here. I assume so um, in November, but they're like little. Oh my God, it's written in German. Whoa. Never looked this close. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's German. That's where I got it. So, um, so. Anyways, they're little tablets, and I always bring it and put it in my coffee. Now I'm gonna be sad whenever I run out, um, but I like will put like little tablets in there. Um, so usually I do like two stevia and like a shot or two of um, vanilla, depending on what I'm feeling that day. Um, so yeah, it's usually how I make it. I really, really love my coffee. I'm not doing any cream or anything right now. Um, just for preference, I like, I mean, I could track all my milk or put all my milk in my meal plan, realistically. I know some coaches that do that. Um, it just, I love my black coffee. I don't mind it. So we can just sip on our coffee. Um, but I found, this is weird, which we'll it's up for a second. Um, I found that, obviously I've been traveling a lot. It is so freaking hard. Every other prep, I've traveled and it was sort of an escape because I was in school and school stressed me out so much so when I was home. It was already hard to be on plan, so when I was traveling it felt easier. But now that I have graduated, this is my first prep fully graduated by the way, um, it's a different ball game. Like first I have more to give. I'm in a better place. I'm about to like, I have more muscle mass, I'm more better shape to bring to stage after these last couple of years. It's just harder. Like, I can't explain it. It is so much harder. And I found so much, like, relief in my routine. Um, and so when I travel, it just kind of, like, throws me mentally for a whack. So, I need to stop traveling. I say that, but next week I am traveling. But I promise, it's, it's very minimal. Um... <laughs> So I'm trying to travel a little bit less. Um, not all of it for like fun things, you know, but like my mom wants to like drive to the beach and I, it's stuff like that where it's like, I do want to be present. So I'll keep you updated what we're, what our vibes are gonna be. But I'm, I'm, when I'm on prep, you have to learn how to say no and how to put yourself first. And like, you know, they're, they're obviously have more availability to go on vacations than I mentally am able to, although I might have the physical time. I know mentally I wouldn't be completely there. So um, one vacation makes sense. More than one, I, not a big deal. I, I live pretty close to the beach. They like to drive down and stay down there and you know, every every few months, but I just cannot do that. Um, just know that like if you're on prep, it's okay to say no um, and to really lean into your routine. Um, because that is where your success is gonna be. Um, your habits every day form the lifestyle of the person you wanna be. And I think people forget that sometimes. Um, they get upset that, you know, they did not have the time to do their cardio, did not have the time to, to go to the gym or didn't stick to plan 100%, you know? And then they get stressed and then they think they can't do it. Um, so, I just want to say, like, you're building the person that has the discipline to accomplish your goals, right? And so messing up one time does not mean that you aren't made for it, okay? Um, may it be, like, weight loss, weight gain, bodybuilding, like, literally anything, just because you don't succeed one singular day doesn't mean that you, in two weeks, working more and more every day towards that goal is not going to be that person, you know? Um, so with that, it's been really hard for me, um, not being in routine. And so that's why I'm showing my morning routine because I've had so much happiness in it now that I've like made it like a little checklist. Um, so 
Hopefully that gave y'all a little bit of motivation this morning. But I missed my vlogs um, last season. It was my favorite thing in the world. I love chit-chatting to myself because, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, but I love chit-chatting to y'all and sharing my experiences. Um, I find a lot of people, like, when they DM me after, like, talking about what I talked about in my video, I'm like, whoa, I went freaking deep. You know, I kind of, like, just, like, not trauma dump, but, like, I actually say, like, the thoughts I have going on in my brain, you know? Um, and then they come and talk to me about them, and I'm like, whoa. I, like really get a little open on here but um yeah i feel like it's easier to just talk to a camera than to have to like type out some of these things in an instagram caption or on a story and um or to talk about it on a story it just feels more vulnerable on instagram than it does on here you know because we're besties on here so okay i don't know why i did that um next up in the morning routine okay just made it to the gym um my stack that i have with me my camera my airpods an energy drink and the rest of my gallon for this morning um i'll rest of my half gallon sorry um so I'll, I'll probably have my water finished by the time i finish my cardio um and i the day hasn't even begun so i try to be super intentional about my water i feel like it's easy to forget it so, um, it's not that it's hard. It's easy to forget it. Um, and then you get to the end of the day and you haven't drinking any water. I used to drink no water. L last prep, mm, that was the hardest thing for me to do, was drink my water. And why? Just drink, just drink it? You know what I mean? Um, you know, I just have to have it on me. If I don't have it in a gallon or, like, a hydro jug or something, or, like, in my Halo Mix, I just won't drink any. Obviously. Like, I'm not gonna go and get, like, a little paper cup and, like, drink a bunch of water. So, if I have a bunch with me, then I'll drink it. Um doing Stairmaster again. I keep switching back and forth between what cardio I prefer. Um, I just kind of have a heart rate goal and I find that I sweat so much more doing Stairmaster. So it kind of depends what I'm training that day, but I think we're going to stay with Stairmaster. Um, I tried to do um, inclined treadmill for about a week and I was sweating like a dog, but I just felt like my heart rate took a lot longer to get high enough. Um, and so then I felt like I was like wasting cardio time. I don't know. So I'm doing Stairmaster. Um, and I don't have to like power walk and look weird. I don't know. Okay. We're going to do our cardio and then, um, we're going to go back and get some food, but I'm not going to take my camera in there cause I always get nervous, but this is just my little local, um, gym it's like seven dollars a month and i come here and do my cardio here um because driving all the way to my normal gym is just so annoying so yeah this is like a 10 minute walk for me if i wanted to walk but it's a five minute drive anyways cheers um if you're watching this get at it okay i'm just finished my cardio that was Honestly, like I zoned out really well. Sometimes it's hard to like dissociate during the cardio session. I just kind of like scrolled in on my phone 99% of the time, which passed it today. Some days it does not pass it, but today it passed it. So died. We had an hour on the stairmaster, like I said. I think we. I don't even know how many how many calories we burned. I usually go by heart rate. I try to get over 145. I think I was over 160 today. Um, I think my incline or my speed was like six, five or six for the hour um and it stayed above that 145 range the whole time by the end it was like the second half hour i think it was over 160 but <clears throat> we feel good we're done check um i was talking to brandon i don't know if i'm gonna train today because of how sick i'm how sick i'm feeling um he said don't be stupid so i'm gonna see how i feel in the next couple hours i think i just need to eat something because i haven't eaten anything yet um but we're gonna go back usually i just like kind of like ghost walk over and to get my um get home to like eat my breakfast because it's like i don't have much energy by the time i finish my cardio but um yeah we're gonna drive home really quickly and i'll show you my my first meal of the day today when i have high days because we'll meal plan again vitamin time um we're gonna take all of our vitamins for the day um oh gosh i said i was gonna tell you what i take let's go and look i'm just gonna show you like my must-haves um i use complex at night which not showing it right now because i'm not taking it right at this very moment um i do take a probiotic i take a zinc 
I take a vitamin D3. Slay. What else do I take? I take the multivitamin from them too, a vitamin C, and oh, omega 3s. I think that's all of it. I have like three. <laughs> That's just embarrassing. Um, I have like three containers of every one because I accidentally didn't turn off my subscription when I went out of town. Um, so I didn't take it for a week or like a month. And then I came back and I had like a ton of stuff. So let me make it quick. Multivitamin, vitamin C, vitamin D3. <laughs> Sorry to share this video again. Um, I take this woman's health one sometimes too. Um, I, just, I just feel better when I take it to be honest. And I showed the D3. Probiotic and zinc. I think I showed everything. These are what the greens powders look like if you don't want to take the pills. I think that's everything. That is everything. So um, we're gonna take all of our vitamins right now and I'm making it with, um, or having it with breakfast. Let me show you what breakfast is. So this is our meal one right now on a high day, 200 grams of egg whites with onion and sriracha, 25 grams of oatmeal with 10 grams of dark chocolate, 15 grams of vegan protein, and 50 grams of blueberries. But yeah, we're going to eat this really quickly and just chill. My um, assignment has been from Brandon to stop running around while I'm eating. I tend to eat on the go and not like sit and enjoy my food. Um, and I found that once I start sitting and chewing and eating my food like slowly, it's made a huge, huge difference in my digestion. So think about that, like being intentional and sitting down time to eat because I was not doing that. <laughs> okay, so I just finished all of my check-ins for the day and now we're done. So I just got ready um, my aunt is having a cookout so i'm just gonna pack all my food and go over to her pool because we get to chill the rest of the day but thank y'all so much for watching um i don't even know what this video was but it's been amazing just kind of chit chatting a little bit and this morning was mentally really really rough but there was something about like checking the boxes and knowing i got everything done that i needed to get done that just like relaxed me so so much so if you're feeling like a little overwhelmed a little like not in control um Make a really fire morning routine because it fixes a lot, um, at least for me. So um, if you made it to the end of this video, what are we going to have y'all say? I don't know. Comment that. Do comment dark chocolate pools and then like the greater than sign three times. Comment that um, <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video. But love y'all um, and excited to start recording posting way way too much y'all gonna get tired of me um and yeah see y'all next video